In our last video, I showed you how to make a heart in Adobe XT using less than three elements to give us a perfect heart shape. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a hover effect. This can be used to create a simple heart button that can be toggled on and off with a hover. Default state means setting the button to how you want the first interaction to look. Make the heart a component. If you need a keyboard shortcut, just type Command K for a Mac or Control K for a PC. You can double click on the layer to change the name to Heart Hover on the left side of the page. The component main is located on the right hand side of the property inspector. It will appear that default state is highlighted in blue. If it is not, please select it again. In its default state, the red element should be applied to that first option. Add a state by clicking on the plus sign. Select Hover State. Our aim is to hover over the heart and ensure it is a solid heart. This is when we change how the design of the heart appears when it's hovered over. I'm changing from a solid element of red to a solid fill of red in this example. With a check mark on fill, I add a red fill by clicking once on the swatch. This component will be turned on and off by using a toggle state. Add a state by clicking on this plus sign again. This time, select toggle state. Here I'm transitioning from a solid red fill to toggle the heart button on. Watch your prototype in action by pressing the play button in the top right hand corner. Here's how easy it is to create a simple hover effect in Adobe XT. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the next hot tip. I will see you next time.